Hey everybody, welcome back to Kenshi, playing as Tank Face again today. We have acquired some better armor in the last episode. Uh, we did get a better sword a couple episodes ago, fighting Flying Bull, and now we are on episode 9 or 10, I believe. Now, this episode we are going to attempt to increase Tank Face's attack capabilities he is a bit slow with his new weapons, so we need to train him up and get his attack speed up. After that, we should be able to find a better crossbow and a sidearm, and better chest armor, hopefully. Let's uh, head away from the skimmers since they do run faster than me at the moment because of my injuries. And we'll head down to Heft, I believe, down here. Try and get a better crossbow. This might actually be a good opportunity to have Tank Face rest up and heal his injuries. Let's do that. All right, let's go ahead and get up, grab our bag, put the sleeping bag in our pack, and we'll head out. Go into some ruins and do some looting. Let's check out and see what crossbows we have at Heft. And I believe Heft is a little further north. There it is. Now that it's daytime, we gotta be a little more careful. The enemies will spot us a little bit easier. Crossbow shop. Let's see what they have. Would like to get an Eagle's Cross for extra long range. Nothing like that here. Alright, so I think I will go do some looting and grab some crossbows from Black Desert. Uh, Black Desert City. So we'll keep with our current crossbow for now. And let's start heading towards Black Desert. We'll see if we can get some combat experience along the way. We want to try and avoid uh, roaming bands of samurai guards. Because they do extort you for money. So we're going to try and avoid them so we don't have to pay them. Yeah, 
And I don't think these manhunters will be able to catch up to me, so... No real need to worry. Actually, this might be a good opportunity to do some combat. So let's try that. Getting a little bit better with his main weapon. He's a little bit faster with it. Doing some pretty heavy damage. Cutting right through this guy's armor. Definitely improving. Strength just went up one point. And just to be a dick, I'm going to grab his med pack and his weapon and his armor. Oops. And just make him naked. And I don't think he'll be getting back to his squad. Alright, let's head out. Grass pirates might be a good faction to fight. Let's see if we can get these doggos to stop chasing. Well, probably too late. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. I don't want to get bit by the doggos though. Get a little bit of combat experience here. Let's take off. Want to avoid massive damage from animal. Bites. I also want to loot some high level outposts so that we can afford to get some better equipment for Tank Face. The nice thing about being a hiver is you don't have to worry about the acid rain or acid, so technically I could make a base here if I wanted to, without much worry for a tank face. Let's see, I think there's an outpost over here somewhere. You will see me mousing over these iron spiders just to see which ones are live and which ones are not. Uh, you can tell the live ones because your arrow will turn red, indicating that they are a threat. The ones that are inactive kind of appear as uh, a crossed out circle, letting you know that they are shut off. Almost like a part of the landscape. There's an active one. And they are not fast, but I'm definitely not running fast enough to avoid him, so I'm going to run around this way. Oh, he's coming after me. Okay, let's go ahead and just head straight for the ruin. Hopefully he'll lose interest. There we go. It looks like I may be fast enough to outrun him. There we go.
So the thing about the ruins, they have defenses, uh, typically in the form of like turrets, here we go, harpoon guns. So it might be better to avoid this one. And... Go for another one. Let's see if there's one close. Yeah, the harpoon turrets are pretty brutal. Don't know if I want to mess with that right now. That's interesting. I wonder... I want to test out my crossbow. Let's see if I can hit them from here. Looks like they're already shooting at me. Okay, let's go ahead and hold tank face in place. And we'll see if we can attack this guy. He's definitely aiming at me. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we have our bow equipped. That would probably help. There we go. Probably a little bit too far away. We'll see if this will work. Yeah, we're a little bit too far away. Let's see if this works. Still too far away. There we go. Nice shot to the head. Got hit in the stomach, but surprisingly not much damage. Let's make sure we're hitting the guy that's shooting at us. there. That um, chest plate's really helping us though. Left arm took quite a bit of damage. Okay, we don't want to hang out here too long. I don't think we're going to be able to do this at the moment without better armor and a better crossbow. Yeah, that, that hit really hard. Okay, let's go ahead and take off. We don't want to get Tank Face knocked out before we even get into the facility. We're going to need an Eagle's Cross to get into this place. Much longer range crossbow. Let's go ahead and heal up, and we'll try a different uh, ruin. I believe there are some up this way. Luckily, hivers don't take any damage from acid. This would be eating away at our limbs and chest and stomach. pretty much everything, but um, hivers are immune, so good for us, good for tank face. Okay, there's a couple iron spiders that are going to chase us, hopefully we can outrun them. We're at 19 miles per hour, that's not too bad. I think we're okay. There we go. Had a feeling there would be a ruin up here. Let's see if this one's as well defended as the other ones. 
And with our swimming experience, we actually swim pretty fast. Hopefully there's no iron spiders lurking in the water. Can't really see them until it's too late. Okay, so we do have some thralls. These guys are going to be a little tough because they have double the amount of health in their limbs and body parts. So we might go down here. But it does not look like there are any turrets, so that's great. In fact, we might do better just running and fighting with our crossbow. If we have enough uh, bolts to take these guys down. That I'm not sure. In fact, uh, let's approach it from a different direction. Because it's very heavily guarded on this side. Maybe we can fight one of these guys at a time if we can aggro them. Don't see too many on this side. So let's see if we can aggro this guy. Let's do this instead. Let's go ahead and go back to melee combat. This will typically aggro them. There we go. Now he's going to run towards us. Come on. And we do have a cleaver, so... Oh, he's trained not to leave the base. Come on. Right here. Closer, have better accuracy. Come on, tank face. Here we go. Keep hitting him in the chest. Hopefully, he'll go down. Come on, tank face. Let's go ahead and go back to melee. All right. They're all going to chase us over here now. Let's go back to the ranged. This is going to be a little more effective as a single character so we don't get overwhelmed. If we're lucky we'll get some iron spiders that patrol through and attack as well. Gotta watch out because these fragment axes are very long, so they have quite a lot of reach. Oop, got tagged there in the chest, that's not good. Let's 
a little bit hard to see at night here. Well, it's always nighttime here, but with the dark setting in the, the Deadlands, it's really hard to see how close they're getting sometimes. Come on, tank face. Shoot. Don't get hit, tank face. There we go. Definitely want to make it around and disarm that guy. There we go. Do the same for him. Come on, tank face. Well, let's go ahead and disarm this guy first. We'll grab his equipment and do the same for this guy. And I'll get back a little bit and shoot this guy. as well. Grab his stuff. He's not going to be too much of a concern. I do want to see if I can grab some loot out of here. Oh, we do want to rest up to, well, bandage. Alright, who else is here? See if we can attack this guy. There's more. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys out here. There we go. Got him out of the base area. And I need to go back to ranged. Careful not to get hit. There we are. Hopefully he's down for good. Yeah, he's gonna die here. His comrades won't be able to save him. This is why a crossbow is essential for a solo playthrough. It's really difficult to take on big squads, especially if there are more than 10. Oh, good thing I have this Masterwork Samurai Leg Armor. that guy down now he's gonna be dying here as well just need to get these guys down excellent so let's go ahead and disarm him actually might want to just take his weapon let's move our food uh, into our pack here Grab that. And we'll continue to shoot this guy. Oh, 
All right, looks like I'm out of ranged. So we're going to need to switch over to our cleaver and hopefully be able to take this guy up. Uh, we'll drop our bag here so we have better combat ability. And let's go ahead and attack. Yeah, he's in bad shape. We should be able to defeat him. Excellent. Okay. So most of the skeletons have been disabled. Let's see what we got. Oh, we still have a few more skeletons out here. Wow, we still have quite a few more. So, it looks like we're gonna need to rest and let Tank Face heal. And we'll come back and try and take the rest of these skeletons on in melee combat. Let's go ahead and rest up inside this ruin and we'll take it from there next time. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tank Face. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video.